Hi folks, <clears throat> beautiful chair. We have an F3 power chair, front wheel drive F3 power chair. <clears throat> this is a permobile. This chair has <clears throat> one mile, practically brand new, beautiful orange color. Uh, so this is an F3, practically brand new, one mile. It has electric tilt, electric recline, and the electric feet, no seat lift, just tilt, recline and legs one mile practically brand new uh, all the function on this chair has to be worked through the joystick so to make the function for the seat go back and up, uh, back and tilting and recline you have to go through the joystick so you would go here there's two buttons on the side you use the left button and you keep going forward until you see a picture on your TV screen or your screen here of the seat so I'm gonna keep going forward and there we go so right now on my screen, I see the seat, and the seat is yellow bottom, yellow back, that's tilting. So now once you have yellow bottom and yellow back, you just use your joystick back and forth to do the, the tilting. So watch, if I go back, you can see the seat starting to go back. That's called tilt. Now when you tilt, of course your legs and your back are connected, so everything goes in one motion. This is good if you want to relieve pressure off your bottom pressure off your back. You just want to relax, but you want to have circulation in your legs. So this is how far the tilt will go. The next feature is the legs. So I'm, this one goes forward, okay? So I want to show you how the legs, how high you can get your feet. So if you needed some really good circulation, I doubt you'll go all the way up like I'm going to show you, but uh, I just want to show you the extreme position if you needed to. Now, of course, if you're sitting in the chair, these legs will stay out there. Look at that, folks. You can have your feet. Now, you don't have to be. I'm going to put it back on tilt and bring the tilt back down so you can see even halfway tilted. What, what did I do here? I hit the wrong button. So even if you were here, and I'm going to put the legs back up, this way. These buttons are backward for me. All right, so even if you were here, your feet would still be higher than your body, okay? So I'm going to finish bringing the seat back down all the way. If I just figure out these buttons, there we go. So now we've done the tilting, we've done the legs. The only thing left is the back. So to change the colors on the screen on your seat, you just move the joystick sideways. So if you keep going sideways like this, now I just have the feet, but I, I don't want the feet. Now I have the tilting again, I don't want that. Now I just have the back cushion yellow, that's what I want. And I push this back, and you can see now we have what's called recline. Recline is just this portion right here, goes back, nothing else is moving. This is called electric recline. And I'm going to bring it all the way back to see how far it goes. Pretty much flat, okay? This is as far as it goes. There we go. And the arms flip up. So if you transfer from the side with a sideboard, you can flip the arm and bring your chair and slide right in, okay? So now I'm going to bring the seat back up. While the seat's coming up, let me talk about the swing away joystick. The swing away joystick, you notice how the joystick went from here to here. This is good if you want to get to a dining table, you can bring that dining table all the way up to here without having to raise the arm up. If you're left-handed, we can put the joystick on the left side, okay, if you're left-handed. Bring the seat back where it's supposed to be. Oh, you know, I could have brought the legs down at the same time if I thought about it, but I didn't think about it. So now I'm going to have to bring the legs down by themselves. If you're outside, folks, leave those legs out a little bit to give you more room under, your, under, the, under the feet in case you um, come across a curb or something that's high off the ground. This, these legs are plenty high off the ground, you don't have to worry, but if we had a six foot two person, we would have to let these legs down further, then they would be only this high off the ground instead of this high off the ground. So remember, folks, if you're five feet tall, six foot two, 150 pounds, 300 pounds, we can adjust these seat, we can change the cushion, we can lengthen the foot plate, we can lengthen the frame. 
be all adjustable. So if you want this chair, don't worry about the seat size. Just give us a call. We'll take your measurements. We'll accordingly make this chair fit your need, okay? Now I'm gonna bring the legs all the way in. I wanna show you inside your house. If you're inside your house, you're probably gonna have your legs all the way in because you want the best turning radius. So now we're gonna put it back in drive. So if you're inside your house, let me bring the chair over here. You can turn a circle like this, look. Without moving, I can stay right there all day long if I just hold the joystick sideways. That's your turning radius in your house. So in case you want to visually see what your turning radius is with this chair, it's about five feet over here. You don't need that much. You, know, you probably only need about four feet. So I can probably turn it right here and still not touch anything. All right, so if we look at the back, oh, one more thing with this chair. The seat on this chair is um, 20 wide by 18 deep, okay? As I said, we can make this seat deeper. We can change all that. You have what's called a retractable belt like you have in your car. So when you have the belt on here and you're done, you pull it and it goes back in. So this belt, this is a retractable belt. The headrest is fully adjustable, as you can see, fully adjustable. You can do any type of positioning you want. On this chair here, you have, as I said, it's an F3, so it's a front wheel drive, okay? So your, front, your drive wheels are always on the ground. There's nothing on the ground holding your wheels. So all the weight of the chair, the weight of the user goes all the way down to the, so that gives you good tracking outside, okay? Look at the suspension on this chair. You have a shock here for this fork. You have another shock here for the front. You have two more of these heavy duty shocks on the other side. This chair weighs roughly 375 pounds. So 375 pounds, you have a 200 pound user, that's 575 pounds. That's why you get such a good ride. Because it's a suspension, the way it's built, it's just a phenomenal ride for anybody who have these chairs, okay? There's a motor right here for each wheel. Each wheel has an independent motor. You can't see the motor, but you can see the lever right here. That's the end of the motor. The motor goes this way, directly to the hub. There's no chain, no belt. It's direct to the wheel, okay? There's no maintenance on these chairs. If I want to push this chair, I couldn't push it because it's in gear, plus it's too heavy to lift. But if I turn the power off, the reason you want the power off, you want no resistance in the motor. These are electric motors. Power off, you see this little lever I was telling you earlier? If you push it down, watch what happens. Look at that. You can roll it. You have the motor on these sides, so you have to do both sides if you want to roll it, okay? When you're done, do not forget put it back in gear, I get a lot of calls. There's an anchor point here. There's another anchor point here. This is where you secure your chair if you want to transport it. You can't see this in the video. Maybe if I turn the chair out, you might be able to see it. You can see the anchor point here in the front. There's another one in the back. There's four of these. This is where you secure your chair if you want to transport it, okay? When you charge this chair, let me bring it back over here so we're not too far from the video. When you charge this chair, I'm gonna use this charger. This may not be the charger, but I'm gonna use it for an example. Plug it here, and as soon as the light goes to full or green on your charger, the charger will stop charging. These are smart chargers. They know when to stop. So let's recap. What do we have here? We have a Permobil F3 with one mile. It has electric tilt electric recline, electric feet. It has swing away joystick. It has flip up arm, retractable belt, adjustable headrest, solid tires, anchor point, suspension, solid tires. Just a fantastic power chair. And this chair goes about six miles an hour also, folks. So watch the video outside if you wanna be impressed. So this one only has one mile, nice, beautiful orange color, and it's ready to go. So this is the F3 power chair with one mile, great suspension, and when you stop, it stops within a couple feet because it has electromagnetic brakes, and then you're still in gear. So you could stop this chair in the middle of a hill, or down or up, and it would not move on you.
The noise you hear on the ground is all these acorns on the ground right here, all over the place. So this chair has no problem in the grass as long as the bottom of your grass is, uh, as long as you have a good bottom. This one has electric tilt, electric recline, electric feet. It has the retractable belt, the adjustable seat, the swing away joystick, the flip up arm. Uh, one mile on this chair. This is a really nice chair if you just need electric tilt, electric recline, and electric feet. This one's practically new. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.